Aloha, sustainability. These days we hear the word frequently, but what exactly does it mean? Sustainability is often used relative to development, as in meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The 2005 World Summit noted achieving this requires the reconciliation of environmental, social, and economic demands considered the three pillars of sustainability. Recently, our company initiated a project which by its very nature is supported by those three pillars. It is a well-known fact that Hawaii is very dependent on fossil fuel for most of our energy needs. With oil prices soaring and political and social unrest in the Middle East, this is hardly a blueprint for sustainability. Promoting conservation and the efficient use of energy helps and the development of new renewable sources of power are crucial. But what about the existing infrastructure, the units that provide the bulk of our baseload power? The majority of our generating units are oil-fired steam turbines built when fossil fuel was cheap. What becomes of all of this investment? To respond, the company put into motion an innovative effort to see if we might fuel these turbines with something other than low sulfur fuel oil using an alternative fuel, renewable biofuel. We have a unique opportunity here in Hawaii to lead the way in fuel switching from fossil fuels to renewable biofuels and generators that are already in place. So we wanted to do this test program to generate the knowledge that we would need to proliferate the use of biofuels at our steam plants to meet our clean energy future. We looked around the industry, we looked around the world who had, who had done this before? And the results are nobody had pushed it to the extent that we were interested in, in operating. We started by looking at fuels. We had no idea of just what we're going to do. You know, um, what fuel are you going to use? Why do you want to use a particular fuel over another fuel? Additional infrastructure, first of all, you had to have a biofuel primary fuel system. That came in with a control system so you could blend it to a, a very precise percentage of biofuel. That went into a mixer. Then you had to go into the heater. Um, the heater was controlled by a new viscometer because the viscosity of the fuel at the tip is critical for proper atomization. The rest of the system remained the same. The testing required the procurement of 1.5 million gallons of biofuel. In this case, crude palm oil from a source that meets our strict sustainability standards was purchased and delivered via tanker to Campbell Deep Draft Harbor. There it was offloaded and routed via pipeline, eventually arriving at Kahe for storage. The fuel was analyzed by Hawaiian Electric Company's Environmental Chemistry Lab at Waiau to verify content and purity. Testing began on January 5, 2011, done in cooperation with the Electric Power Research Institute. Initial biofuel tests were conducted by Combustion Components Associates. As increasing amounts of biofuel were incrementally blended with the low sulfur fuel oil normally used, probes were systematically inserted at different depths into the boiler to measure temperature, O2, and other emissions data. The data was cross-referenced with the amount of fuel being consumed and the unit output to determine heat rate. The process continued over several days until the unit was running at full capacity on 100% biofuel. Evaluating the environmental impacts was a critical step. Operators took note that opacity levels, that is the visibility of emissions, were extremely low. Air Kinetics Company then conducted Maximum Achievable Controls Technology, or MAC testing, to determine all emissions from the K3 stack as a result of burning biofuel to produce electricity. More testing was done by Fossil Fuel Research Company to specifically measure nitric oxide and nitrogen dioxide, or NOx levels. Results have been encouraging thus far. We figured if we got to burn a 50-50 blend up to 100% load, this test would be considered successful. 
it's now known that we did make 100% biofuel at 100% load. So that was a good thing. As you increased the percentage blend that you burned, percentage of biofuel, the opacity dropped. It just got clean. Well, this test program has proven that we could rely on biofuels to generate electricity for our needs in, in Hawaii. Particularly if we could rely on homegrown biofuels, we get a double benefit. We get a, we get a cleaner burning, uh, environmentally friendly fuel that is produced locally and uh, it's good for our economy and it's good for sustaining our environment. These tests confirm that biofuels locally grown to the greatest extent possible could be an important part of Hawaii's clean energy future along with energy from the sun, wind, ocean, hydro, geothermal, and waste to energy. And our pioneering work in using biofuels is another example of how Hawaii is leading the nation on the road to sustainability. This has been a Hawaiian Electric News Bite. Thanks for watching.